Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the incredible Poison Ivy Premium Format by Sideshow Collectibles. That's up next. Hello everyone, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector, your Dark Knight of Collecting, and welcome back to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. And like I said, today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this beautiful Poison Ivy statue. But before we do that, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button, also hit the like button, and if you want to take it one step further, please hit that notification bell and make sure it says all notifications. That way you get all of our videos firsthand. Okay, so here is Poison Ivy. Now the interesting thing about this Poison Ivy is, is I already have a Poison Ivy premium format statue that I love. If you've been watching this channel, you guys know it's back here and it is phenomenal. It's one of my very first sideshow pieces and I still feel like it holds up very well. But then this one came out and I loved it, but I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it, I hesitated. And then one day uh, in 2019, late 2019, I was at a comic book shop in Kansas City and I saw her in person for the first time. And I almost bought her that day. I almost did. But then I caved. I'm like, I don't need two. I don't, I don't know if I would want to replace my OG one that's back here. I just don't know. So obviously I caved because <laughs> here she is. Um, I got her from Sideshow Collectibles and Sideshow always does a very good job. Interesting story about the shipping though, uh, I ordered her about two weeks ago and um, I paid for it, it was already in stock um, and it said on my, uh, my notification there, it says it's, it's tending, tending to be shipped, okay? Uh, pending, pending to be shipped. And so I waited and waited and I still didn't get anything, I didn't get a shipping notification. So I contacted SciShow's customer service, which is always top notch, and they contacted their warehouse and they said, well, actually we're out of stock of this version. I'm like, okay, but they still had the exclusive version. Um, I don't love the exclusive portrait, so I really didn't care. Um, and so they came back to me and said, okay, well we're gonna ship you uh, we, or we have the exclusive in, do you want us to ship that one to you? I'm like, fine, whatever. I'll pay the 15 bucks, whatever. And then within a day, they said, nope, never mind, we found the one you ordered. Kind of weird, right? So, long story short, it took a little longer to get here, but I'm glad she finally is here. I cannot wait to open her up, but I do want to share uh, the box with you first. And this box is absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. I love that they have the statue on the front. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And then as we spin it around, you can see the ivy right there, and then the ivy, and of course the other angle of the statue. And last but not least, this. And let's go one step further and show you the top of the box really nice. Uh, let's see, this one happens to be, I think it says here on the bottom, this one is 515 out of 1500. So again, I know you're not here to see a box. Let's get into the styrofoam and check out and see what's inside. All right, so I have the styrofoam up here on the table and let's see what's inside. I already have the tape cut. Ooh, I love that pop. Love that pop. All right. Well, let's see what we have inside here. So we've got some of the, uh, the vines of the plants. We've got, of course, her base right here, which I like. And then here is the figure itself. Looks to be good. And then, of course, that head sculpt right here. Obviously, this is the missing one because that was the exclusive. So, anyway, almost had the exclusive for a second there. But uh, let's get her set up. All right, guys, so we have the styrofoam open. Let's go ahead and get her uh, unboxed. And we're going to start with the base here. Really excited to see this. Um, the, the colors, I guess you could say, on this particular piece are a little bit muted compared to the old piece. Um, but this is really cool. I like the size of it. Very cool. Let me show you here. Looks really good, right? Very cool. Again, this is 515 out of 1500. Ah, that new paint smell. Gosh, you gotta love that, guys. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, let's see, I'm not exactly sure which is the front, so we're gonna have to kind of play around with it here, but um, let me go ahead and do the body next. So I think you probably have to put the flowers, or the petals, in. And, wow, that <laughs> looks really impressive. Colors are good. Some critiques about the feet area, I can see, valid. But let's just see if we can put her in here and see how she's keyed in. See if 
I have got this backwards or not. I think I might. I think I might. There we go. That's pretty easy. I think she's down in there. Pedals. I think all the pedals are the same, as far as I can tell. Well, maybe, maybe you do have to put the pedals in first. Where did I get here, folks? I should have watched more reviews, huh? So let's see. Well, actually, all three of these might be a little bit different. That would fit in real easy. Got to kind of size up the keys here. This one's got a little different key, so. I guess there are particular ones where you put it in, but man, the colors on this is really good. This looks like a key right there. And slide it into place. And then last but not least, I'm assuming this one goes here. <laughs> it doesn't work trouble. Fine if you have it, just wiggle it. Wiggle, wiggle it a little bit, and you should be fine. You should be fine. All right, so now we're gonna line her up. Put her in the keyhole, bam. There you go. Just like that, she fits just fine. All right, he's already stolen. Head sculpt. The head sculpt. Beautiful. Man, beautiful, beautiful head sculpt. Absolutely pretty. All right. Put it into place right there. Actually, I thought there was a defect on the neck here, but it's actually just part of the leaf uh, on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Uh, I'll show you close-ups here in a second. But there she is right there. That's the final piece here. Let me kind of come down here and look her over. See what I think in person. Gosh, guys, she is really pretty. Really pretty. I can see again some of the nitpicks with the with the vines on the base here. Uh, it's pretty muted. Um, but man, she is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. So uh, let's go ahead now and we'll get to the full review. Show you some close-ups. All right, guys, we're ready for the review, and I have turned on the studio lights, so hopefully that'll light her up just a little bit better. Uh, keep in mind her tones might be a little bit darker actually in person. Um, but I do want to show you the details of her real quick, and we'll kind of pan down, and we'll start with the base like we always do. But incredible looking statue, that's for sure. So the base, as you can see, is a crumbled rock effect, um, and that looks really good. Um, the colors, though, are pretty muted. Uh, it's kind of a tannish gray, more maybe more tan, um, but it does look good. It looks like crumbled asphalt. What really impresses me, though, is the vines coming out. It really looks like the vines are shooting up through this concrete, and I think they did a really nice job of capturing that. Uh, I, I really like that look a lot. And of course from there sprouts these beautiful leaves. And the leaves are kind of a reddish purple, kind of almost like a bloody magenta, uh, how I would describe it. Now you can see the reds right there. It's very muted though. I mean, in person it's not as bright as that. Um, but it looks really good. And of course the details on the inside are really spectacular, as you can see. All of that texture really looks good. And then if I zoom out a little bit, so you can see those leaves a little bit better. But colors look really good. I'm really impressed overall with that. Um, then, of course, the area I was referring to that a lot of people don't really love, and that is this area here. These kind of muted green vines, um, they are just okay. Uh, they're not painted all that great. There's no other tone to them. Um, there is kind of a white, like you can see the white bumps on it, and I think that's fine. Uh, it does add some nice texture and visual interest. Um, but I just feel like it's too close to her feet. Um, the colors are just too close there. I feel like they should have done a different color. Um, I just think that would have been a lot better in my opinion. But again, it is what it is. Uh, let's move up the figure here see some of the details of the paintwork. 
Um, it's all very clean, very nice, obviously all hand painted. Uh, she is fully sculpted and the layering effect looks really nice, I, I feel. Looks really good. Her hand, again, looks great. Her arm, again, I feel like all the paint work looks really good on this figure. The greens look good. Chest area. You can see again that multiple layered leaf look, which looks good. Her torso. Looks very nicely airbrushed and painted. Really nice. Again, this Ivy is very fit. That's for sure. Some people felt like she was maybe a little bit too masculine looking. I disagree with that. I, I don't think she's that way at all. I think she's really good. Very sexy. Very fit, feminine body. She looks good to me. I'm spin her around and show you the back side. Can't leave that out for you guys and ladies. Again, looks really good. Muscles in her back look really, really amazing. It's very beautifully sculpted here. Very impressed. See her arm. And kind of zoom out a little bit so you can see that back profile. Because that's, that's the way you can display her if you wanted to. top to bottom and you can see some flower details in her hair you don't always see that you don't always see those details I think it looks really good and then this is the part that I feel like really sets this piece apart and that is of course the head sculpt and her eyes look really great hair really beautiful Beautifully sculpted. See those flowers in her hair. And again, I just feel like they really captured the portrait. She's looking over her shoulder. So another kind of angle that you can have with her is kind of something like this, where she's kind of looking maybe back at Batman, blowing him a kiss maybe. Using her wilds. But man, what a beautiful statue here. You can see the OG one looking over her shoulder back there. It's going to be interesting to see which one of these are better. I really am impressed. I think she's really beautiful. I really like the green in person. Um, sometimes I wish that maybe she was a little bit different shade of green, but in hand, I feel like she's really quite stunning. Um, I think this statue is really beautiful, guys. Um, I would definitely give her in the nine range. Um, but like I said, the, the feet are kind of a mess down here. I feel like they could have done some different colors. Um, on camera, it does look two different shades and in person it does too, but it's just so muted that I wish that maybe they had done maybe some reds or that same purple, continue that purple upper leg. I think that would have been interesting. Um, gosh, maybe that's something that I can paint myself and try it. Maybe we'll see, kind of do my own paint work on it. But anyway, like I said, I would give this a solid 9, maybe 9.2. Is it a perfect statue? No, but I think it's really beautiful. I'm really excited to add her to the case. Really, really beautiful piece. I'm anxious to know down below what you guys think. Do you own this one? Again, I'm a little late to the party. What do you think of this one? Do you think I made a wise choice? Or... Should I have just stuck with my OG? Let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this amazing unboxing and review today because she is absolutely phenomenal. I'm so glad that I went ahead and pulled the trigger because I had to see her in the back game. I had to see what she looked like, and I think I made a really good choice. Now, what I'm really excited about, though, is the next video. The next video that you're gonna see on this channel, we are going to do a comparison video versus the brand new one versus the OG Poison Ivy that's back here in the case. I cannot wait to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Which one's better, the more modern look 
or the OG kind of comic stylized version. I want to see once and for all which one of these are the best because I don't think there's any of those on YouTube and I'm really excited to do the compare and contrast. So definitely check that out. Also, thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate it so very much. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, hit the subscribe button if you're new. Also hit the like button. And as always, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every single time we put out new content. I cannot thank you guys enough for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. And we'll see you next time right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.